Yes, sir. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you guys that are new here, welcome. My name is Idris Ibrahim. I am an incoming dental student at The Ohio State University. Uh, the purpose of this channel is to inspire and elevate, and hopefully you get inspired and elevated with the content in these videos. Um, so this is video three of the dental school admissions bootcamp series that I am doing. Uh, the last two videos I did talk about GPAs, uh, course to take, and also extra course activities. If you didn't check out those videos, pause it, check it out, show some love get a lot of information from it, free of charge. You know me, I got you guys, don't worry. Uh, so in this video, I will be talking about the DAT. I really didn't wanna make this video. I really didn't wanna make this video. But a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me, asking me how to study for the DAT, what score did I get, what did I use to study, what would I have done differently. But yeah, that's what I will dive into. Like always, I do have timestamps listed down below. So if you're looking for a specific section or a specific topic, you can just scroll down and look through it. Uh, but if you wanna stick around, watch the whole video, stick around and watch the whole video because it is really informative. Uh, I wish I had this when I was applying and also when I was studying for the DAT. The first one, uh, DAT, what does the DAT stand for? That's the dental admissions test. So this is an exam that everyone has to take that wants to get into dental school. Every dentist took this exam, so you lucked out. You're not the only one that's taking it. Everyone took it, so there is a lot of resources out there, a lot of different schedules you could follow. So the DAT consists of four sections. Technically, it's six, but they grouped all the sciences together and considered the one section. So the sections are broken down into bio, gen chem, o -chem, PAT, which stands for uh, perceptual abilities, uh, reading comprehension, and quantitative reasoning, which is basically just math. And uh, PAT stands for uh, per, like 3D model and stuff like that. Um, so how long do people usually take to study for the exam? Average time people take is uh, three to four months. I took around that range, like three and a half months or so. I know some people that took two months, some people that took eight months. So at the end of the day, it's not really about how long it takes you, it's just about what score you get. So don't get discouraged if you feel like you need more time to study and don't rush the exam because at the end of the day, you are spending around $500 just to like register for the exam. It'll be a bummer if you have to retake it again. So what is the score range? Uh, score range for the DAT is from 12 to 30. Uh, average is a 19 to 20. Uh, I personally got a 19, which is average. And I feel like you could get better as well if you just kind of put your head down and study a little bit longer. Uh, once you take it, most people take it after their junior summer when they're applying to dental school. Uh, some people do take it sophomore summer, some people take it their senior summer, but more than likely a lot of people take it uh, the summer before they apply to dental school. Uh, for me, I personally took it after my junior summer, so like September time for my senior year, uh, because I was gonna take a gap year and I didn't feel like rushing it. So I took it September of 2018 and I applied in June of 2019. Uh, but no matter what time you take it, make sure you take it in the early cycles of application. So that's like before July, because if you take it after July, it takes about 30 days for them to get their results back. And that time you're spending sitting around and waiting for your results, there's other people are applying and also getting interviews. And there is limited seats for interviews and also limited seats for acceptance. So you really don't want to risk your chances of getting into dental school if you decide to take it like in mid-August or September when all the interviews already went out and there's no interviews for you to receive. So make sure you try to get it in there as soon as possible. So what resources are out there for the DAT? Honestly, there's so many resources. I feel like Every year there's more resources coming out. There's Kaplan, there's Princeton, DAT Bootcamp, DAT Destroyer, and just like so many. Uh, the ones I personally use and strongly recommend is uh, the first one, DAT Bootcamp. If you only had to pay for one thing, I'll say DAT Bootcamp. The reason is because it's so on par with the actual exams. Like the same scores I was getting on the practice exams for DAT Bootcamp was the same scores I got on the DAT. It kind of gets you thinking, like, do they have the same people that make the DAT work for the DAT Bootcamp or something? I'm not sure, but it's like so on par. Uh, the downside about this, it does cost about like 495, which I justify is completely worth it. But one of the downsides and one of the bummers that I really hate about it is it is only 90 days, it's subscription based. So most people do take a lot more than 90 days to take the exam. So sometimes you will have to pay for it twice. So now 495 plus 495, that's almost close to a thousand dollars. Another downside about it is it does have limited amount of questions, so it only has 10 exams per section. But I feel like right now they did include more sections that you have to uh, buy as a bundle for extra money. Um, that's the downside about it. So the other one, which is not a necessity, but it's really helpful is DAT Destroyer. The thing about DAT Destroyer is it is extremely difficult. Like out of 20 questions I'll do, I'll probably get only five right. It's really difficult. But the thing about it, it really makes sure you know your material and the reason why you got it right or the reason why you got it wrong. 
So that's all the resources I'll recommend. So right now we're gonna dive into exactly what I did for each section and what score I got in each section. Uh, the first one, bio, I got a 19 in the bio. Honestly, the bio, it's a hit or miss. It depends on what kind of questions they ask you and also what kind of exam you get. I know a lot of people that got a lot of evolution and ecology questions and a lot of people that got a lot of uh, taxonomy and embryo questions. So it just depends on your exam. So at the end of the day, it's broad over depth. So make sure you know everything, but don't spend too much time on one focus because you might not get down the exam. Like for me, I'm personally good at ecology and evolution, but I had a lot of embryo and cell development questions that I just really hated. So how I studied for the bio, honestly, I started with AP Cliff Notes. And then for me, I hate reading. Then they have so many pages and I was like, hey bro, this is not gonna work out. So I threw that aside. I started doing more research online. And then around that time, uh, DAT Bootcamp made their own condensed notes. So I kind of started using that. So for Gen Chem, I personally got a 21 on the Gen Chem section. Uh, what did I do to study for the Gen Chem? I used Chad's videos, which cost about like 50 bucks a month. I think at the time they still didn't make Mike's videos. So I just decided to stick to Chad's videos and I really liked it. If I had to do it again, I'll probably still do Chad's videos. There's a lot of great information. I took a lot of notes. And then after I finished all the notes, I dove into uh, DAT Destroyer about 600 questions I finished that um, then I dove into DAT bootcamp which was also extremely helpful one advice I'll give you for the gen chem is practice 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 no matter how many notes you take there's nothing like practice so you just keep practicing the questions uh, even though DAT destroyers are extremely difficult keep doing it keep doing it so the third one OCHEM I did the same thing as gen chem I started with Chad's videos I uh, did destroyer then went to DAT bootcamp same as the old one I used the equation sheet from uh, DAT bootcamp to help me out with that for the PAT section, I got a 21. I really didn't do that many practice exams, but I did do a lot of uh, PAT generator games. So right before I went to sleep, about 10 minutes, I'll just do the game. Uh, well, right when I wake up, I'll do the game. Like in the middle of the day, when I had free time, I'll just play the game. Uh, the reason is because I didn't really have an issue with timing for the PAT. I just had an issue with exactly muscle memory. So I feel like the more you practice, the more you practice, and the faster your eyesight is able to adjust to the question, the faster you are to go through it. So the other section is the reading comprehension. Uh, this section was my biggest fear because English is not my first language. I hate reading. Last time I read a book was probably back in middle school. I used to listen to audiobooks, uh, but it wasn't really that bad. I got a 19 in it. Um, I felt like I could have done better if I did spend more time on it. For the reading comprehension part, the passages are easy to read. It's just about how fast you could get through and how fast you can answer the questions. There's so many techniques and so many methods you could take on the reading comprehension. You could do a uh, search and destroy. You could start off with the questions and just kind of find out exactly where it is in a passage. You could read the passages, uh, take some detailed notes. Uh, there's so many methods to do it. But one advice I will give is make sure you start reading beforehand, like four or five months before you take the exam. Every night you just read an article. I didn't do that. I started studying like the last like three weeks. I started reading more articles. I felt like if I would have put more energy into this, I would have got a high score and also would have picked up my academic average. By the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, that's about it. Uh, so the other one, QR section, um, and this is one I did sleep on a lot. I didn't spend that much time studying because I noticed a lot of uh, dental schools don't really care exactly what score you get as long as you get above 15. So I was like, hey, let me at least put my energy into the sciences and kind of neglect this. Uh, if I had to redo it again, I'll put more energy into it because it is really difficult. I did get a 17 on the... And one great resource for this uh, section is uh, the math destroyer. Even though it is difficult, it does give you a lot of practice uh, on the exam. So I guess that's about it for all the sections. That's all the scores I got, uh, things I did, things I wish I would have done. Uh, right now, let's kind of break down exactly what to do on test day and how test day is like for you. So test day, what to expect uh, during test day. So as soon as you go there, you have two form of identification. They take it from you. You put your stuff in a locker. Uh, you go through metal detectors. After that, you get your, your fingerprints taken. Then you get your picture taken. Then you go through another metal detector. Then they wand you. Then they make you sit down at a desk. They bring you two papers, two pencils. Then they start off by asking if you want to go through an optional uh, tutorial. Then for some people, they skip it. I don't know why. For me, I went through it. So while the video was playing, I was kind of getting accompanied to my surroundings, make sure the temperature was all right, make sure my seat was good, and just kind of making myself feel comfortable and make it feel like I knew the place. Um, also, I was saying a lot of prayers those 15 minutes. And also, I kind of hyped myself up. I was like, bro, you got this. Don't worry about it. You've been practicing this. You got to kill it. You know what it is. You know, no game time. Then after that, the 15 minutes was over. It asked you a question and you press next. 
boom, the exam starts. Uh, they start off with the natural sciences, which is 90 minutes, and they have 30 questions for bio, 30 questions for gen chem, and uh, 30 questions for ochem. After that is over, uh, they after that is over, you press next again. You start with the PAT section. Uh, they give you angle raking, keyhole punching, cube counter, all that. Then they give you the optional 30 minute break. I don't know why it's optional. I feel like everyone should take this break. Go stretch, eat. Uh, for me, I personally didn't eat. I just sat there, used my phone for a bit, kind of like walked around, make sure I got some good stretches in. Then afterwards, you come back, you do the reading comprehension test, which is another 60 minutes. They give you passages. Then as soon as you finish with that, you start the QR section, uh, the quantitative reasoning, and you just kind of go through that. They give you a calculator, but it's on the computer, so you kind of like know how to navigate through it. As you finish the QR section, they say congratulations. They ask you for an optional survey. For me, I skipped out on it. I was like, man, I don't want to be here any longer. Uh, altogether, the exam takes about five hours. As soon as you finish, you go up there, they print out your results. Um, they say these are not the official results, but nine out of 10 times, more like 9.9 .9 out of 10 times, that's your official score. Unless something magical happened where everyone got under 15, then they start averaging it out and they see what's the reason why. It's not like MCAT. I know for the MCAT, um, they kind of average it out on what people get on the score and kind of base it out off of there. For a DAT, they don't do that. They just kind of have you take the exam. If everyone scores low, then they figure out what's the reason why, but they never change the score. I feel like they only change like here and there uh, when something really dramatic happens. So um, any last minute advice? Uh, number one, don't get discouraged on the grades you're getting on the practice exams. Like I said before, in the DAT Destroyer, I'll do like 20 questions and get like five, six right. And I felt really discouraged, but at the end of the day, like you're doing practice so you can get better. Just figure out what's the reason why you got it wrong and make sure you get it right the next time. Uh, the other one is make sure you take care of your body. I know you'll be studying uh, seven to 10 hours a day. Make sure you take breaks in between like a five minute, 10 minute break where you walk around, stretch, eat well. And, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. But like always, stay blessed, stay tuned, take care.